3.30. You see, so it's, it's cooking about the right temperature and I controlled it by opening it up to drop the temperature down. And so let's see how it actually looks inside. About 3.30, 3.40. Let's see if it's how done it is. If it comes out clean, then it should be done. We had a blast making banana bread at the VU. The large cardboard oven was very efficient. It held a constant temperature as effectively as a traditional kitchen oven. My daughter, who is a Girl Scout leader, told me that Scouts make ovens using cardboard boxes that are covered with aluminum foil. And I thought about this and, and I thought, well, how can I make an oven like that collapsible so that I could use it backpacking and hiking and camping and things like that? And I came up with the idea of rolling corrugated cardboard. And over the years, I made cardboard ovens from very small size, less than a foot in height, to almost two feet high. They all work very well. So I want to show you a little bit more about this oven. This is the largest oven. It has a base that is made out of a large pizza pan. This is a 16 inch pizza pan. And then on top of that, I have a little bowl. Uh, this is about a 12 inch diameter bowl that holds charcoal. An oven this large, is too big to use sterno as a heat source and so I always use charcoal. It's a small bed of charcoal. Make sure when you use charcoal that all the flames are out that is just the heat from the charcoal. So you put that in here, put the charcoal on it, let it heat up, and then put the oven together. The actual cooking platform is oh, about a 12 inch uh, pizza pan and I can cook cookies up big cookies on this, uh, chicken, or even a small turkey. And then all of that is held into place with some steel rods. Uh, these are welding rods, and then they make uh, the platform that the pans rest on. The main part of the oven is a piece of corrugated cardboard, 21 inches by 52 inches, and I just roll it up and I didn't really have a large enough piece of cardboard for that, so I put several pieces together. So this is made out of several pieces that are covered with heavy-duty aluminum foil. I glue the heavy-duty aluminum foil onto the cardboard with either rubber cement or white glue. This is the top of the oven. It's 18 inches in diameter, and I cut a little hole in the center of it and put a flapper, and that's just screwed on so that I can move it back and forth, and that way easily control the temperature. If you decide to use an oven like this, I have several recommendations. First, let the glue thoroughly dry before using the oven. Second, use the oven only in well-ventilated areas. Never use it indoors. Use it only outdoors. Third, uh, keep the oven temperature below 500 degrees. Well, let's get cooking. Until next time, peace.
flower. This is real flower. Mark and Mark. Mm -hmm. Mark and Mark. Like a bee almost got in it. It's okay to be. It'll be. It'll be very good. That's right. right. We're making a. We making a bee nana. Bee nana. There you go. Bee -nana. There you go. So, did they come to see the making of banana bread? I bet yeah, they... because she loves to eat. <laughs> she loves to eat? Yeah, it's her favorite thing. Well, she's so little, she looks like she needs to eat. <laughs> That's true. She just made a new friend here. Lexi and Baby are fast friends. Yes. Yes, yes. So, how's that looking? Now, we can add, well, it says to add milk or water. But we don't need to add much liquid to it. Mm -mm. Now this is um, really healthy, so I have almond milk we could add if we wanted. And we're going to add raisins and cranberries to it too. And that looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. Let's get the lumps out. Well, the lumps are banana. Yeah, they're banana. Yeah. Cook, hey, cooking with Bob don't have nothing on us, right? Yeah, <laughs> cooking with no. Mark. Oh, yeah. This is cooking with Mark and Mark. Uh -huh. And did you know that my last name spelled backwards is Mark? <laughs> and in fact, the first time I started doing, they look, we're meant to be. The first time I started doing videos, it was a Mark you production you with my name spelled backwards. That's, that's so this is Mark, Mark, and Mark. Hey, the three Marks making I banana bread. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Just, I did one. One. We just keep adding raisins and cranberries. And anything you want to add, you can even add a, a, a fresh banana to it. And then you even have more lumps of, lumps of goodness. Lumps of goodness. Lumps of goodness. Cram those cranberries in there. Well, they're spelled with a C. You know, cranberries. Cranberries. Yeah, well, they sound the same. Yeah, that's right. Cram. Okay, we're going to just... Way, that's the way they say it. How many more you want? Yeah. Oh, just add a lot more. A lot more. A lot more. Like David Letterman says, that's why we say it in Indianapolis. Cranberries. Wash your socks. We're going to look at the temperature of the oven. Mark has a very nice electronic device. Infrared. Will... Infrared. Now look at this. And the cookies look like they're cooking. 200 what? and 50, oh, 300. Jumping between 250. Okay, that's good. Yeah, a little breeze going by. We'll yeah, to well, what, what this is supposed to be, that looks like the ideal temperature for, for baking. Yeah, figure about 108. Everybody enjoys a bushcraft meetup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All that cooking got it tired. Yeah. Yeah. Cookies. Yeah, one of them. See, they're not burned go. either. Perfect. I've got the grill marks from underneath the paper. Yeah. There we go. Now we're doing cookies first to test the oven. Right. But that's what they look there like. They are. Who wants to be the first person to taste it? Okay. Yeah, he Try one. These are made by. Hot out of the oven. Hot out of the oven. Bananas, raisins, cranberries. They're soft and chewy. And my wife would put icing on top. Yeah. I've got honey. Yes, honey, made honey. with honey. Sounds scrumptious. It is. Okay. I think it's time to start actually making the bread. It is. It is the time. Time, time to make to bake bread. Yeah, it's with good. icing. Hey, yeah, hey, he's Mark, Mark, you try one. I'll try this this poor one that burned a little yeah. bit. Now I have another version when I do the cookies for sure that I'll put more sugar on them. It's great. Banana bread. It's got all the flavors in there. 
I'm going I'm to try one too. Look at his steak. This is good. I like the raisins and the cranberries. I'm going to cheat and not eat the black part. Well, you know, it's supposed to burn a little. My ants need a little bit. There you go, ants. ants so this was our test baking, and now we're going to do the bread. It turned out perfectly. So, yeah. 3.30. You see, so it's, it's cooking about the right temperature, and I controlled it by opening it up to drop the temperature down. And so let's see how it actually looks inside. About 3.30, 3.40. Let's see if it's how done it is. Oh, let's see. If it comes out clean, then it should be done. Pretty close to clean. Now those on the outside might be done. Anyway. Yeah, that smaller ones. Yeah, the small one. The smaller one. Let's get the smaller one out. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> Smell right. They may actually all be done. Now what I typically do is I use this as a cooling rack. So I'll just move it off the oven like this. And I'll just put these back. Now it'll cool. Isn't that neat? That looks so good. Is that good? Is this tasty? Oh yeah. You think that's bee bread. Is this bee bread? It's just a tool. It's banana bread, not bee bread. I'm not. My dad was a tool and not Yes. I'm familiar This is banana bread. Well, I'm going to cover it because we're not going to share it with you right now. I know. It's got all that honey on it. It's made with honey. No wonder why you like it. I'm coming back. Coming back. Yeah. Don't get me off of there. This is bee bread. Banana bread. Oh, no. Uh-huh. Well, I'm... Yeah, you, you... Yeah, yeah, that honey is just too good to be good. That's just too good for you. We have a lot of very good food here that everybody's made. This is our group meal this evening. A wonderful crowd enjoying bushcraft. This has been, an, this is an awesome event. I hope to be able to attend in uh, future years. I plan to. We'll, we'll like, love to see you. This is one, Jen. Thanks for the information you gave earlier. It was oh. very entertaining. Oh, you're welcome.